Good afternoon, folks. What's up? Welcome to Honey Badger Arcade. Sorry I haven't been here in a little while. A lot of stuff going on at home. And um, I think I uh, just now recently got a break uh, in between work and other sort of errands. So um, we're going to be doing some Baldur's Gate 3, but I got some news. So I was going to play Baldur's Gate 3 before when I learned of its existence. And I thought, oh, this would be a good you know, opportunity to play as to like create a party of adventurers based on Karen, Allison, Hannah, and Dr. Ranmercam. And unfortunately, Baldur's Gate 3 didn't look like it had the capacity to do that. I mean, it has multiplayer and it has um, co-op and single player stuff, but it's, it's pretty limited in its uh, use because apparently the NPCs, you know, all have a story. And uh, the only way I could do it is if I can get like three other people to play with me. So it's kind of like, uh, it was kind of a pain. But then I found a workaround. A workaround that people have been using to create a completely original, custom made party without the special, the super special snowflake NPCs that they they offer you that are all like more important than you and they have like it's 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 the, it's like a, a GM's worst nightmare these NPCs so um I I pr I put I tried out this method and it worked so I now have a full party of badgers I'm gonna be playing this is my campaign uh Lindsay still has her own campaign I don't know when she's gonna do this again uh maybe later in the week so I'm kind of in the beginning, but I have a whole party. I just wanted to see if it worked. If you're curious, I can tell you how to do it if you want to, but I want to see if it actually works once I get the ball rolling. So let's play some Baldur's Gate with Typhon the Blue, uh, Karen the Rant Zerker, Glorious Ass, and Dr. Randomer. What's a GM? I don't know what a GM. You mean a game master? Like uh, when you play D and D with your friends, uh, they call them the dungeon master in, in Dungeons and Dragons. But GM is just game master for most RPGs. Like the 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 broader term for a game master, a person that runs the game. They're the ones that they behave as a referee. They um, decide the stories. They they control the monsters, the encounters, the and all of that. And the players each individually control their own characters. So. Think of the GM in this, you know, in this game as like the the program itself, the game itself. Anyway, so uh, I'm very proud with how these characters turned out. They are level one, so this isn't like Neverwinter Nights two, which I've also been doing a a badgery campaign with. Um, this unfortunately is not that, but it will do. The graphics are a lot nicer to look at for one uh, because it is a current gen experience but we'll see i mean maybe maybe we'll this will work i don't know here we go we're entering the game so here is our party i will show you all <laughs> who they are it's not a general manager um and this is what we have so typhon the blue is a ranger we're about to level up that's our xp bar right there um she is a ranger and she uses a bow. This is very similar to the character we made for Neverwinter Nights, a gnome. I can zoom in. You can sort of see her face a little bit. Unfortunately, when it zooms in, it, it also puts her lower to the screen. Uh, this is Kairon, the Rancerker. This is Karen. Notice the uh, it's a half-orc, barbarian. And I, my favorite thing about Kairon is the haircut, because it's basically exactly correct. Um, and I gave her some lipstick, so we know it's a woman. And uh, then we have Glorious Ass, which is Hannah's character. It's an, I think this is an elf. Yeah, because that's what we decided in Neverwinter Nights. And she is a warlock, because the warlocks in this game are a better fit for her than they were in the previous game. And then Doc Pandemur, which is our bard. He even has a loot. See it on his back there. Uh, and it's, it's, they're a lot more mechanically useful. This game plays in a turn, in turns which I appreciate, um, and it does work a lot better. So basically this is right at the beginning of the game. 
We just crash landed uh, from this Illithid spaceship, which is a Mind Flayer ship. And you can't really see it, but it's like right here. Um, and that is our party. Also, uh, Allison has a pet. This is a cat. So this is her little conjured pet uh, right there. So you guys can see it. And let's, uh, let's, I guess let's just walk down the road. Let's head up and see what's going on. So head over here. There's Shadow Heart. So this is normally an NPC that you're supposed to like have with you, but I have a full party because I created a full party. Uh, what about your character? There's not enough slots, unfortunately. So there is no, there is no me. This is just like the same limit that Neverwinter Nights had, where it was the party could no be no more than four people, and I guess occasionally you'll get like a, an NPC temporarily. And we have a a pet, a, a a pet, the conjured cat here. So, um, let's have a random cam walk up to her and the artifact. Reach for the artifact. I'll try. Sure. He's gonna wake up, freak out. What are you doing? I'm alive, yes. Thank you for the concern. And speaking of, how are we alive? The divine tend to keep their interventions close to the chest. Though, I suppose it's not impossible. Uh, let's see. You might want to reconsider calling her a friend. Looks like she ran off without us. Do you have any idea where we are? No. I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter, and most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Are you harassing me? Yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, we, you want to come with me, or should I say farewell? She's not going to be able to stay in our group anyways. So, can you read it before choosing? Yeah, so she says, we might have escaped, but we still have li these little monsters in our heads. And I have, I can say, we, you want to come with me? Or two is, indeed, I better get moving then, farewell. So, the thing is, if I, s I don't think she can actually join us. But I could, I could ask her if she wants to come along anyways. So, I will decide. We need each other. And we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. You don't need me to read her voice, right? You guys can hear her talking, right? Uh, alright, let's get moving. No, this is where we part ways. So, I'll say, alright, let's get moving. You seem overburdened with hangers-on already. She's so... Ew. I'll leave my camp on your map. You can rest there. Don't delay. So I have a full party she can't come with, so she's gonna go to camp. I don't want her coming along anyway, to be honest. So we leveled up. That's good. So let's level up all of the characters. Doing well. Doing well. So I'll start with Typhon the Blue. Let's see what she gets. I can hear her just read your lines, okay. Neat Scholar says, I wasn't going for the artifact, I was going to funnel your boobs. Well, as long as <laughs> be polite, choose one. I don't have to. I, I'm, I'll I'm. i try to be in character. I don't know what Mike would do, but... Alright, so we're going to level up in Ranger. She gets spells. Rangers do get spells, so Ensnaring Strike is pretty good. Uh, good Berry is a healing spell, I think. 4 to 16, that's probably not a bad idea. Hail of Thorns. Hunter's Mark, that's a good one too. Uh, Enhanced Leap. Animal friendship. The creature must have an intelligence three or less. Convince a beast not to attack you. Hmm. Cure wounds. Speak with animals. Oh man, these are all good. Okay, I'll take um, speak with animals, and I'll take an attack spell of some kind or healing. What do you guys think? Um, just uh, asking for a friend. Should, because I, I definitely want this speak with animals. I think that's a very Allison thing. But, 
But as a ranger, I also want to be effective. So should I take an attack spell like Hail of Thorns or Ensnaring Strike? Or should I take a healing spell like Cure Wounds or Goodberry? Or wait, Goodberry? Yeah, good, uh, where is it? Right here, Goodberry. Maybe he would take a sip. Mike would let other people do the talking, probably. Yeah, probably. Let's see. What's what's best? Pick the most autistic option. <laughs> They're all autistic, I guess. All right, well, um, I will go with... Hail of Thorns, I guess. Just do damage for now. And fighting style, we'll go with archery. And accept it. That's that. That's one character leveled. Now let's level Karen. Um... This is a Barbarian, and we'll see what, what my options are with this. I would love a Speak with Animals in real life. Yeah, it could be pretty handy, right? Ooh, a lot of hit points. A lot of hit points. Okay, I guess there's, there's nothing else. Class features, Danger Sense. Uh, okay, Actions, Reckless Attack. All right, this is, uh, this is what we need. This is exactly what we need. Cure, uh, well, I didn't take it. But you know what? The Bard can do it. So it's okay. Uh, I'll have Mike be the healer. Uh, okay, just waiting on the next thing to load up. Um, game. Hello. What's going on? Hello? Just gonna try and be patient. Wait a second. So on today's news show, we're gonna be, um... Oh, you know what? I bet, I bet someone trying to message me on Steam or something. Sometimes when people try to contact me on Steam, my, uh, my game freezes up or pauses. Hold on a second, guys. I'm sorry. Let me try to figure this out. I'm just going to switch to this screen for now. Um, so much for the 60 bucks. Crashed? Maybe. I don't know. Let me, uh, let me find out. Uh, okay. What? What's going on here? Let me open up Steam. I'm just going to go into Steam real quick. I think I have to, like... Do you guys know how to hide yourself in Steam so people don't see that you're online? Um, I just want to, like... Um, basically, like, appear offline or something. So, how do I do that? Oh, I think I see it. Invisible. There we go. Okay. Uh, just give me a second. I'm going to have to close it and reopen it because it appears to be nerfed or, or borked. So I'm just going to close the program and reopen it. I don't know why. That, and that's the, that never happens, but what are you going to do, right? All right, I'm just going back. I'm going to open it back up now. Try settings. Yeah, I figured it out. Uh, a, a file error occurred. Verify your installation. No, not this time. Let me just let me just try to run it again first, okay? All right. Try again. Sorry about that, guys. I don't know why it's being a goof now. All right. I think it's going to work. So it's opening back up. I'll probably have to level up again and talk to the girl again and all that. So I'll just jump through it real quick.
It's okay, bl we blame the game, not you. Well, thanks. Really. <laughs> they, I mean, I, I actually, this game's never crashed on me before, so I'm not ready to blame Larian. It could, it could just be, like, a goof on just, like, a you know, a glitch or something simple. So... Um, today's show is going to be pretty interesting. We're going to be talking about, on the news show over on the live streaming channel, we're going to be talking about the, um, Enrique Tario of the Proud Boys was, um, sentenced to like 20, 20 years or 22 years. Um, and, and Danny Masterson from that 70s show, he got like 30 years. I mean, it's insane. And when you look at the case... It doesn't add up at all. Here, pick Cure Light Wounds this time. Okay, I, I'll, I'll do that. I'll pick Animal Friendship and Cure Light Wounds then. I'm sure there'll be like... Um, I'm sure there'll be opportunities to learn more spells later. So... But I'm definitely going to get a Cure for the Bard as well. If I have the option. So there, there'll, be some, there'll be some healing. Mm -mm -mm. Have you guys played B B Baldur's Gate 3? Have you guys played this yet? Speak with animals was a good choice. Yeah. All right, guys, let's see if this works. I mean, I played through like the, it's sort of like a tutorial area where you're on the ship and I played with all the characters on there and it was fine. So, okay, so we're not leveled up yet. So let's just move out and do this. I'm not gonna try to take it. She's gonna wake up anyway. So I'm just gonna wake her up. I could leave too. You're alive. I'm. A I. I remember okay. the ship. I should have told you what I picked. I remember falling. Then nothing. <clears throat> you have any idea where we are? No, I don't recognize this place. But anything's an improvement on where we just came from. First things first. We need supplies, shelter. And most of all, a healer. We might have escaped, but we still have these little monsters in our heads. Why is she so angry? Um, we. You want to come with me? With we me? Need each other, and we both know what's at stake. Can't think of better company. All right, let's get moving. You seem overburdened with hangers-on already. She's so you passive aggressive much. I'll mark my camp on your map. You can rest there. Fine, but don't delay. All right, I'm gonna save here real quick. Um, okay, I'm just making sure in case there's a crash, and we've leveled up. So let's do the leveling. This is where it crashed last time. Um, hopefully, this won't be an issue. Short height, short temper. You can't... You, so, here's the thing about this game that's actually pretty disappointing, okay? There isn't really a lot of customization. It's, ve it's very limited customization. Like, you can't adjust the height of your characters. You can pick, like, you know, two body types most of the time, depending on the race, or four if it's a uh, human or some others. I think there's a couple where you have, like, more than two. But they're basically just male or female. But of course they don't describe them as male or female. They just say type one or type two because you also have to pick your gender, which is separate. So you can be you can have a feminine body, but be but be um, masculine in your gender, or or you could have non-binary as your gender. This is the most progressive shit I've seen in a while. So I'm gonna take uh, speak with animals and cure wounds, okay? And then for fighting style, I will take archery. And accept. Okay. 
And now I'm going to try to level up Karen. There isn't much to it. I think all of it's automatic. But yeah, there's no... The, there's, there's like a small list of faces that you can have. You can't adjust things. Like there's no sliders for, you know, how wide your jaw is or what kind of eyes you have or how close together they are. Off. It's nothing like... like from software, Souls games have a lot of options. Okay, glorious ass now. See if this works. Non-binary Hulk Hogan, you can be. So she's a warlock. I don't know much about the warlock class because I don't have a lot of experience with fourth or fifth edition. So I'm just kind of winging it here. Um, so I get a spell. Uh, let's see. Uh, Arms of Hadar, necrotic, okay. A uh, charm person, expeditious retreat, hellish rebuke, 2d10, uh, react to your next attacker with flames that does 2d10. Oh, a react spell, that's kind of cool. Uh, hex, make your attacks do 1 to 6 necrotic. Uh, protection from evil and good. Witch bolt, maybe witch bolt. That, that, I like that spell. Armor of Agathis, 5 turn rate hit points and deal 5 damage to any creature that hits you with a melee attack. Ooh, that's not bad either. I'll 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 go with Witch Bolt. It seems like a straight like thing. Okay, Eldritch Invocations. In your study of occult lore, you have unearthed Eldritch Invocations, fragments of forbidden knowledge that imbue you with an abiding magical prowess. Agonizing Blast. Uh, when you cast Eldritch Blast, add your Charisma modifier to damage. I don't know what your stats are, Hannah. Um, I have to look. Armor of Shadow. Oh, no, you know what? Her 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 charisma is 17, I remember, because that's the highest stat. That's not bad. Armor of Shadows. You can cast Mage Armor on yourself at will without expending a stealth. That that sounds really good, too. Beast Speech. You can cast Speak with Animals at will. Well, shit. Oh, well. I'll, I'll, I'll leave it with to, to Allison. Beguiling Influence. Inv uh, Devil's Sight. You can normally see normally in darkness. Well, you're an elf anyway. Fiendish Vigor. Cast False Life on yourself. Mask of Many Faces, One with the Shadows. I don't know what One with Shadows is. Look to the right, dude. Oh, yeah, right. Charisma 17. Yeah, thank you. Um, Repelling Blast. When you hit a creature with Eldritch Blast, you can push them up to 4.5 meters away. And Thief of Five Fates. Um, cast Bane. Okay, I think I like um, Armor of Shadows. I only get one. Oh, I get two. I get two. So, I'll go with, uh, let's see, Agonizing Blast. Yeah, we'll do those two. There you go. We'll see how that works. Thanks, Doc Saturn. I didn't notice. And then the Bard. I had an Agonizing Blast earlier this week. <laughs> All right. So, spells. I'm definitely going to give him Cure, I think. Let's see what else I can do, though. Animal Friendship. Sky Cells, Fairy Fire, Feather Fall, Long Strider, Thunder Wave, Peak with Animals, Sleep. Let's just do Cure Wounds. We don't have a Cleric, so I'm going to have to like have everybody else compensate. And I think that's it. So let's move, gang. Let me let me save. Is it like... Uh, you know what? I'm just... There is a... I don't know the shortcut to quick save, but it's okay. Just do it the long way. Uh, I vote. Oh, I already took the stuff. I'm sorry, guys. Let's see. What's what's in this backpack? A hat. I'm gonna give that hat to Doctor Randomer Cam. Hold on a second. Uh, and I'm gonna have him put it on because. Oh no, she's wearing it. No, wait. I don't want to wear it. I'm gonna give it to him. I want him to wear it. There. That's that works. <laughs> it's a bard. He should have like a big old muffin hat. A uh, potion that's always useful. Only in video games do you find this much uh, junk. Wish I had a bag of holding. Yes, he does need a hat. True. 
Some gold. Nothing on the intellect devourer. Uh, there's buckets of fish over here. So you have to like uh, get stuff for your camp. You, you use supplies so you can get a good rest. So, shanties of the of the bitch queen, shanties. F five quick save. Thank you. Okay. And backpack. This stuff. Ooh, that's nice. Is there anything else over here? Oh, all right. Let's keep going. I'm just gonna like look around. There's a barrel. What's this? It's a bottle. Nope, that's a wall. <laughs> Go this way. I'm just gonna take everybody's junk. I'm sure that this is low level shit, so there's probably nothing here. Some gold. It's a lot of gold. 28 gold? That's not bad for like a low level. Like a first level character. Second level, I'm sorry. Okay. That, that's like fire, so I'm not gonna touch it. See, if you mouse over it, it tells you this is fire. So that'll probably do damage. Or well, I know it will because I've played this before. Uh oh, we're in a fight! Uh, let's start with Ranamercam. I so the, the this thing that not this not means that all these characters act at the same time, so I can do them whatever, whatever order I want. So I'm gonna have uh, Mike do Bardic Inspiration. Yeah, do it, jam it, and then um, can I do it to more people? No. And I'll move him over here. Just be on my way. Okay, and his turn is done. And I'll move. Uh, Allison will move to here. Be, be right here. And I'll shoot this guy with my arrow. That's an intellect devourer. I remember when these things used to be freaking scary. Back in the old days. No, he already went. Oh, Kitty. I don't know what to do with... What's what's Allison's cat's name? I can't change the name of the cat, but... That's who that is, in, as far as I'm concerned. Um, oh, I can meow. What does it do? Get, attract the attention of nearby creatures. Oh, okay. Well, I'll mew at this guy. That's something. Uh, his turn is... he hasn't... wait, he's done. We gotta do Still her. My fate. Time to press ahead. And I will... do I have a cantrip? E Evocation cantrip is my Eldritch Blast, so... Let's see if this works. Wow. Okay, she's done. Um... what about Karen? Can I move Karen? She not in the battle? So much for peace. Oh, I guess I guess not. He's done, dude. Okay. Jasper? No. It's it's kind of a floofy cat, this one anyway. Now it's Karen's turn. Hmm. Need to find a way forward. Uh, she can't really do anything. I can throw an axe. Let me see. Do I have a throwing axe? I had to equip it, though. Yeah, I don't have it equipped. So my turn is over with her. I will shoot this guy. And... Move back here, I guess. Come on. Can't stay idle. And he also has a bow and arrow. So I will shoot at... This one. Who's that? Gloria? Yeah, let's shoot this guy. Dead. And I'll move. 
And then the cat, can the cat attack? I don't think it does much damage though, right? Let me see. Claws do two damage. No, I'm not gonna do that. What I will do is move next to Karen here. And then meow again. Maybe I can get him to come over here. And uh, it'll attract his attention. And then I'll Eldritch Bolt this guy. Get my Doctor Strange on, and the battle's over. Let's get going. All right, nobody took any damage. To Pretty good. Do these guys have any loot? I doubt it, but. Oh wait, a brain. I'll take it. It's probably a component for something. On Karen's turn, have her ask for the manager. Ha ha! Very funny. You're hilarious. Gold, rapier, silver locket, pale mint. Give me all that. Uh, let me look at the inventory really quick. So what weapon is she using a short sword? Oh, wait, okay, wait. What's this? Short sword, short sword. I have a rapier here. I'm going to give this to the bard and put it in his melee slot. I think I can switch between these two, so... And for Karen, I'm going to give her a... Th oh, no. She can't throw those? Aren't these throwing axes? Oh. Well, that's lame. Can I give her a dagger? Can she throw daggers? No? Okay. Never mind. Well, never mind. All right. Well, I, I, I did that, I guess. Hmm. Make sure the brain you took isn't from Abby Normal. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Nice, nice reference. Ah, oh, there's something over there. Let's go over there. What's this? Potion of speed, caustic bulb, spike bulb, those are like grenades, right? And in here we got a simple toxin. Alright. Uh well let's go this way, I guess. Wait, you got been here already. Let me look at the map. No, I haven't. Nothing there. These boxes. Thieves tools. Sweet. Tongs, rope, okay. Uh Murgrass. What's that? Okay. I'll take that. And Belladonna, crafting materials and shit. Sublimate of Belladonna. What is that? Oh, is it like a, in the alchemy pouch, maybe? Or grass, intellect devour, Belladonna. Oh, elixir of peerless focus? Oh, okay. I guess. Hmm, that's locked. Uh, I don't think... What now? I don't think he can... Oh, I mean, he, I know he's a bard, so he might be able to do that, but... Let's look at his character sheet. And his skills, I suppose. Ah, uh, in... Oh yeah, sleight of hand, plus two. I think that's what they use in this game for that. So let me give him the lock picks then over here. I don't know if it's going to work, but it's worth a shot. And I'll select him and see if he can try it. Uh, lock pick. Don't get in trouble now. Okay, let me add a bonus. Thieves tools, dexterity, jack of all trades. Here we go. 
With my bonuses? Yeah. You can hold down shift or control. Yeah, control will highlight stuff. Okay, some gold and a leather helmet. I will take it. Um, does the leather helmet even do anything for your armor class? I'm not gonna give that to Doc. Maybe I'll give it to, maybe I'll put it on the Typhon the blue though. I don't know how it's gonna look. I mean, <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> oh, you know what though? I, I heard that you can actually turn off, hide it. Um, yeah, but it's still there, but it doesn't show up on your character. That is cool. I, I like that. I appreciate that. It's over there. Can we go down there? No. Uh I've got a long road ahead. Let's just go this way. If the gods are watching me. Maybe I can go back there later. Here's Asterion. This guy's also supposed to go with your party, but he's just way too special for my taste. They're all too special. There, in the grass. You can kill it, can't you? Like you killed the others? Uh, kill it yourself. You look capable enough. I was for a kind <laughs> she bounced soul. out. Well, not to worry. Oh my god, this is assault. Uh, dexterity, quickly roll away. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a little, uh, quick on my little legs. You got it. Fuck out of here. I saw you on the ship, strutting about whilst I was trapped in that pot. What did you and those tentacled freaks do to me? You have it backwards, they snatched me up too. Put the knife away and maybe we can talk. I haven't done anything to you yet. I'll say put the knife away and maybe we can talk. You'll talk. I can ah! Your mind twists. You're looking out of unfamiliar eyes, prowling dark, busy streets. You try to hold the memory, but it fades to the worm. The light. The fear. What was that? What's going on? It's the Mind Flayer's worm. It connected us. Honestly, I have no idea. Put the knife away and I'll tell you everything. Yeah, but I don't know. <laughs> I'll say... I'll say, uh, it's the Mind Flayer's worm It connected us. The worm? Of course. That explains things somewhat. This guy's voice is the most overused voice I in Western dubs ever. With your <laughs> Apologies. I apology accepted. I might have done the same were the rules reversed. Glad to see we're all caught up now. You better have more to offer than apologies. Yeah, I don't want to flirt. So we'll say glad to see we're all caught up Indeed now. We are. Please, allow me to introduce myself. My name's Astarian. I was in Baldur's Gate when those beasts snatched me. All these all these NPCs names are cringe. Like they're they're all I feel like they like like the the cleric from before, her name is Shadowheart. That's like some that's like some shit a 14 year old goth girl would have come up with. Like, it's just like this, like these are the characters I avoid when I used to go to Gen Con. <laughs> these are the people because you want to, you want me to tell you about my character? No, I don't. I don't want to hear about your character. All right. Uh, introduce yourself. You're a Baldurian too. Tell him your name and your story. Nod. I'll just nod. I think the strong and silent type. All right. Please tell me you at least know something about these worms. The Ugly Rejects took over entertainment. Yeah, they have. 
Uh, yes, unfortunately, they'll turn us into mind flayers. I know we don't want them in our heads. You know as much as I do. I'll say they'll turn us into mind flayers because I, I do know that. So. Turn us into... <laughs> of course, it'll turn me into a monster. What else did I expect? Yeah, but he is a monster. He's he's literally a vampire. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you can see the bite marks on his neck and he has fangs. He's out in the daytime, but he's one of those, you know, dunpeels. Because this is the kind of shit a Tumblr, like, blog person would come up with as their character. I want to be an elven rogue, but I want to be half vampire. And I can be in the sun. And I'm gay. <laughs> this is odd. Like, I'm, I have such mixed feelings about this game, I'm telling you. Um, okay. Astarian says, although it hasn't happened yet, if we can find an expert, someone that can control these things, there might be still be time. Control it, we need to get rid of it. Or, you should travel with me, our odds are better together. Or, I need to get moving, but you can shelter in my camp. Or, I've wasted enough time here for farewell. I'm gonna send him to, uh... I'm gonna send him to camp. Okay. I was ready to go this alone but maybe sticking with the herd isn't a bad idea safety in numbers after all and i hate to turn down an invitation all right maybe i'll see you there he's like literally dressed like a vampire like like they're not even trying and i i know they they probably reveal this as some kind of twist later but it's like no it's boring not it's not really a twist there a mind flayer and it's hurt even injured it's dangerous <laughs> oh this is the mind flayer you approach the dying monster this is the thing that abducted you you could end its life here and now if only you didn't feel compassion compassion Uh, step away. You can't move. Can't think. Thinking is mercifully done for you. It will be a joy to serve, to die for it, an honor. It's possessing your mind, forcing you to love it. But then the feeling slips. The creature's mind seems to focus elsewhere. Concentrate on its thoughts. Take advantage of the lapse. I don't think that um, this character has a really high intelligence, but I'll try. And I'll add the bard, the bardic help. So let's see if this works. Oh yeah, we did it. So plus two. Thank you, random cam. Your mind's views, lusting for something that is gone. But then its grip claws back with a vengeance. A vice locking your mind into obedience. It needs sustenance to survive. And with your very body, you can provide. Ooh, what's this glitch? Submit to the feeling. No. Resist the intrusion with everything you, everything you have. Let's do it. I like how it's like, resist with everything you have. Difficulty class 5. So basically, I'm meant to win this. Basically, like the monster lies exhausted, defeated. Its eyes, wet orange pearls, radiate malice. Where is it? A path lies before me. Oh, I gotta, gotta switch to her. Close its eyes forever, I guess. Curb it, curb stomp it. Monster, death is too good for it. All right. Well, seemed a little out of character, but <laughs> we'll roll with it. Let's see what's over here, I guess. No, I've been this way. I've been this way. Let's go back. 
There are some mods I'm kind of interested in getting that I've heard were pretty good for this. Like, there's one that gives you better camera control. Um, it's over here. And there's also one that, um... Hmm. It's gonna do damage if I walk through it, I think. Well, it's fine. What's this? Alright. Let's get going. Let me just see it. Is there a way to, like, move one character by himself? Because I kind of want to... I want everybody... What is that? Crush spike trap. Broken. Oh, okay. Must have been here a while. Is there one that makes the characters less ugly? There is, but they're banning that one. Deep and move. There is. Let me switch to Allison Still again. Breathing, despite everything. She's gonna be the leader. I hear shouting up ahead. We shouting. Check it out, but be careful. What's this? On my way. Oh shit. We're about to get into a fight. Maybe? The goblins are on us. Let's go here. I'm gonna get some Open the shit. Gate. Nobody gets in. Zevlor's orders. The pack of goblins will be on us any second. Time to fight some goblins. Goblins are on our tail. Open the gate, Zevlor, now. You let goblins here? Where is the druid? Please, there's no time. Oh shit, a warg! Send out your warg riders. Open the gate. <clears throat> okay, it's time to fucking take out the trash. <laughs> Go in goblin slayer mode. Feels it feels wrong, like we're picking on little people. Provoke the blade. Another super special NPC that I'm not interested in having in my party. Commence battle. So Ranricam and the cat will be next. So I will have Ranricam move to here. My feet can carry me. That's about as far as he can go. I will play some music for Karen. Is that like a riff? Pretty good. Uh, and then the cat will... Um, does it have the ability to... What is meowing? Is that an action? It is. Um, I'll have it go here. And I will have it meow at this... Goblin boo, booyag, booyag, and that's the end of the cat's turn and Mike's turn. This guy's gonna blow the horn. Critical miss. Scouts, get to the high ground. Raiders, charge the bastards. Ooh, that got hurt. Okay, Glorious Sass. I will move her. Oh, there's a goblin right there. Wait, hold on. Let me just hit this guy with what's the Fate Presence do. Charmer, Frightened, Enemite, Foes with the Fate Wild, Beguiling, Magic, Fairy Fire, Blade Ward. Witch Bolt? Maybe um, I'll zap this guy right here with a Witch Bolt. I want to see what it does. So, 55%? I missed. 
And I will move there, I think. And end my turn. Do we get an actual chance to fight at some point? I'm fighting now! Alright. Uh, can't go there. Should have climbed this thing, but... You know what? I'm gonna have I'm gonna have Alice. I'm gonna try and get Alice into the high ground so she can use her bow and arrow. If you're in this game, the high ground is a really good advantage. So, ooh. but Karen is going to move up here. So I'm gonna run. Actually, let's move there. With haste. And then I will. Can't reach that guy. So I'm just gonna. Um, dash up there and get up next to this asshole maybe I'll just come up to this guy actually yeah and my turn there do you think it's possible to solo this game I don't know I mean I think you have to be in a party no matter what but well maybe not have to hey unwaifu have you seen Shuan Head's response video yes I did Lindsay and I watched it yesterday. I think it's I think it's fine. I hope that it works out that people will come see our stuff. Unfortunately, I think that Shu sent us sent people to the main channel and not the streaming channel. I don't know like that that's gonna work out. You missed. Ooh. Oh no, that guy's that guy's hurt. Oh no. Alright. Um let's see. Let's move Doc up here. Don't slow down. And I will have him shoot this guy. Oh yeah, that's good. Mmm, that's juicy. Get him a little higher up. And end it there. Uh the kitty is going to stay where it is. I'm gonna meow again. That's all it can do, really. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna nerf the enemies. But I, I, oh no, that guy's dead. Reckless war cry. Okay. Gloria Sass. Let's put her here. And I'm going to cast... I'll try Witch Bolt again, but on this guy. That should be better. And he's down. Okay. Do I have any free actions? No. Let's leave it there. It was sad, but not surprising in Shu's video how many people doubled down on their victim blaming of men. Yeah, well, I mean, I, again, I don't know why anyone is surprised by that, you know. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm, I'm glad that she made the video, but I don't, I don't, I don't see why uh, this would be surprising to her. Boink! Tagged it. Tagged it! That's it for Allison. Ooh, that's nice. Time for time to take out the trash. Okay, it's time to fucking take out the trash. Down. <laughs> Give me your shit. Um, let's have Karen move down here if I can. Okay, that's it for her. She's on the ground there. Um We'll end her turn there. Ooh, that bugbear. Something's gotta be done. Uh, let me play some music again, I think. Uh, insult a creature has disadvantage on its next attack roll. I could do that. Mike's good at insulting people. What's the range on it? Could I insult this guy? It's a... Uh, wait. Bugbear. Four hit points left. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move him first. I'll move him to here. 
and I will insult this guy. Make him cry if it works. Hey, it worked! And I can shoot him. Oh no, I don't have enough. I'm done. Uh, the kitty. How's this guy doing? Three hit points. Cat does like two hit points of damage, so I'm not gonna attack. But I'll move there, and I will... Meow. Meow. At the bugbear. That got his attention. So that's it for the cat. That's it for him. Uh, the comment section did, I'm not sure. Oof. Oh no, he's get that guy's gotta go. That guy has got to go. Great glorious ass. I'm gonna cast Witch Bolt from here, or Eldritch Blast, I mean, on this goblin boss. Critical hit. He's down. All right, Hannah. Critical hit. Damn. I didn't. I thought. I thought Karen was gonna have to go in there and finish it, but. And that's it. There's a bugbear left. Uh, move Allison a little closer, and I will take a shot at this guy. Is that gonna hit? Doink. And he's down. Is the fight over? No, there must be another enemy. Hmm. Where's this guy? Goblin Tracker. Oh, he's over here. Okay, okay. Nothing important is ever easy. Time for mercy. Boom. Oh no, I missed. Okay, that's it. You motherfucker. Time to press ahead. Uh how's Karen doing? Oh, she she's fine. She didn't really take any damage. I'll just uh let's see. I'll just shoot her with it. Battle's over. Yeah. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Good. It's done. Good. Was that an ordinary raid? Seemed a fool's Wait, wait, wait. We got to get these spoils. Got to get these spoils, son. They likely have a camp. Scroll of Greece. Is this a wizard spell? Uh, let me have the warlock take it. Give it to Hannah. Take this stuff. And... No time to maybe rest. what's the bugbear got? Uh, morning star. It's javelins. Some gold. Some bottles. Some grease bottles. Uh, let's see. What else is there? There's the goblin boss. What does he have? Let's get going. Let me check. A scimitar. A spiked shield. Gloves of power? On a melee hit, possibly inflict a 1d4 penalty to the target's attack rolls and saving throws. On a melee hit, so this is for Karen then, for sure. Um, let me see. Let's, let's see, let's have Mike go get so that's this goblin tracker here. And what does he have? Yeah. Got. A bow, a rogue's morsel. Okay. Could use it to make up uh, uh, some healing shit. And this other tracker has some gold as well. And then this guy, another one, also has some gold and shit. The easy path. I think that's it. I think we took everything. Oh wait, this guy, Goblin Brawler. Oh, some of the. I think I may have like looted the wrong. Some 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 friends. But are right, we gonna go inside here? Oh, look. What time is it? 4.01? I can go for m not more than another hour, and then I gotta stop. What's up here? Oh, shit. Somebody killed this guy, too? I need a quick word. What's up, homie? I 
sorry, Arka. Don't be sorry. Fetch some help. It's that guy too dead? Late. He's gone. I've got a revivify <laughs> scroll. You need to avenge this. Spill some goblin blood. I'm sorry, it happened so fast. He's dead. Stop wasting your time. Leave. <laughs> what should I say? That hat, though. Have you noticed that this hat's been kind of in right now? A lot of people have been wearing this shit. These muffin hats. He got shot in the cutscene. Oh, well, I couldn't have helped him anyway. See Hawaii for the latest example for, of the recent study that pointed out that unvaccinated people have 27 times better protection. Try and D20 roll that. <laughs> um, great indoors. People have to realize that governments the world over are losing their credibility fast, including all related institutions and NPOs. If you fail to see that, you are risking your health and or life. Absolutely. Bonnet hats, yeah. What should I say? Which answer do you guys think I should give? You need to avenge this. I'm sorry. It happened so fast. He's dead. Stop wasting your time. Maybe I'd like the first answer. You need to avenge this because I want I want my uh, badgers to get see some action. So weird clipping going on, by the way. See the crossbow is like in his chest. <laughs> I will, I'm going to go with you need to avenge this, okay? They'll slaughter us if we leave. There's nothing we can do. They're slaughtering us now! You know, tieflings are not supposed to be this common. There's literally a whole... It's like a whole, like, community oh, no, of tieflings. Wait. What are you doing? And they're like, um... They're like refugees or something, like... <sighs> they're literally part demon, guys. Glad you made it inside. That will be safe here for long, though. There will be more coming. Goblins hunting packs. We could hold off a horde of goblins from this position. Why not take your chances on the road? You're scared of a few goblins? Pathetic. I guess... At least he didn't take an arrow to the knee. Yeah, Maybe. right. I'll we'll take the position, them. the first one. If they broke through, it'd be a massacre. The sooner we leave for Baldur's Gate, the better. How far? Look at that hat. Look at that. How far are we from the city? Like, I look at. I can't, that is a really good looking half orc, by the way. Isn't Karen, like, doesn't she look good there? That's a good looking half orc. Uh, how far are we from the city? If the road was clear, a 10 days walk, maybe. But while the goblins are out there, it might as well be the other side of the world. Octa soup just a moment ago. No one back home like will ever be home. Now what? We dig a hole and be done with him? Not now. Please. Do that, that bitch. Uh, very breedable. <laughs> Misunderstood demons are angels in disguise. Tumblr probably. I I think that's literally what they're doing. Like, the Tieflings are part demon. There was a, a, a race they made in 3rd edition. I wasn't really a fan of them, ever. Because I thought it was like... They were just kind of cringe to me. Ooh. Druids. What are they doing? Well, I don't want to interrupt. So I'm in like a, a, a town or a settlement of some kind. And there's druids and, and tieflings living together. So basically, like, refugees and environmentalists. I'm sorry, but this whole game is like that. It's, it's, I feel, I feel like these characters are just really, they're going to stand out. Talk to this guy, Zevlor. Aradin didn't make it. Pity. But he might have got more of my people killed, if not for you. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. I'm Typhon the Blue. What is this place? I take my thanks in coin. <laughs> Pay me, bitch. I should. I don't. Oh, I'm tempted to say that, but I'm not. I'll. I'll just introduce myself. Muffin hat for the Puerto Rican-looking bard. <laughs> yeah, right. I should warn you. 
Visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Noble what fan, what's the desire? Well, I'll, I'll read that in a second. The druids are forcing everyone out. Maybe this you should leave. Will only strengthen their resolve. The druids should build a wall around their grove, like a Stonehenge. Uh, Noble fan says, "What's the desire for lefties in D and D to have a bunch of identities instead of playing an archetype? Is it their insecurities? Well, yeah, it's narcissism. It's like." It's not enough that you can literally escape into a fantasy world. They have to bring their politics into it. I'm, I'm sorry, but it, it's just that's just the reality of it. Like, why is it when you are creating a character in Baldur's Gate 3, if you make a half-orc, you have, like, different faces to choose from, but the half-orc face, or, or any, it could be elf, it doesn't matter. And they'll have, like, oh, what if you, what if the half-orc was actually Asian? What if the half-orc was black? What if the half-orc half was Latino? And they'll make a face that looks like that. And it's like, it's so, it pulls you right out. You, you don't feel like they're half orc at all. They look like, it's like a, a Puerto Rican guy with tusks, you know? And I'm like, what, why are you, what? and I know what it is. It's the it's the way these people think. Like I, I had to like try really hard to make these characters look basically nondescript. Like they, it, like it wasn't obvious what they were because gnomes are gnomes. Gnomes are not white, they're not, black they're not you know brown they're, they're gnomes just like elves are elves right and I, th I think that they make them ugly on purpose because the beauty standards they don't want them to, to to be too unreasonable in a fucking video game so subverting the hobby yeah it's 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 all about deconstructing it and tearing it down noba fan says i see it reminds me of D D adding wheelchairs for handicapped people like why not pretend to be someone else? Right, right. Nope. People in wheelchairs have played Dungeons and Dragons. And guess what? They didn't want to play characters that were handicapped like they were. They didn't want to play that. <laughs> like, it's, you know what I mean? Like, the what these people do is they disenchant everything they touch. They take the fantasy out of it. They take the fun out of everything. Because they want to force reality into everything. Into places where it doesn't belong which is basically any and all escapism, right? Like, like the other game I'm playing right now is Armored Core, okay? I, I should probably answer this question, but I will in a second. The other game I'm playing right now is Armored Core, and I looked at, you know, you guys were talking about mods, right? So, there was, there's this game, Baldur's Gate 3. There's a mod for it that I saw that makes the Shadow Heart characters, or like the female NPCs, more attractive, because the way that they make the female uh, NPCs in the game is they give them more masculine features to make them like mid in terms of their attractiveness, right? So they have like, maybe their jaws are a little bit more square, maybe they have larger chins, but also they'll have scars and blemishes, you know, on their face, right? To make them look less attractive. Now, the most attractive NPC is probably Shadowheart, but even she is like, you know, got these imperfections. And so she's not like as classically attractive as you wouldn't expect an elf to be, which she is. She is an elf, okay? There is no such thing as a mid-elf. There's no such thing. They're all beautiful. That's the point, right? That's the point, but they can't handle that reality. So they have to change it and they'll use the fact that it's fantasy to sort of like justify, oh, well, it's made up anyway, so why do you care, right? But they do care because when somebody made a mod, to clean up the 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 people make them more attractive well nexus mods which i guess is like the one of the authorities on mods or one of the places where you can get they banned that mod they banned the mod that makes women look better they also banned a mod in um starfield i think it's called uh the new bethesda game that removes the pronouns because there was there they asked for your pronouns in that game and somebody made a mod to take that out because they didn't and this this is look that the starfield is a single player game like no one else is going to play with you so whatever you do to your game is your business but of course these people don't believe in property rights either so they they ban the use of that mod so you have a mod in starfield that removes pronouns that they got that, that got banned and you have a mod in Baldur's gate 3 that um makes the characters look more attractive and that got banned but somebody made a mod for armored core 6 that adds an easy mode and that did not get banned because again these people only take away like i mean you know if you want to play the game on easy mode go ahead but 
you, you're gonna suck at it. So <laughs> I don't. Armor Core Six is not even that hard. Like it's challenging, but some of the older ones were harder. You know, like Master of Arena was probably one of the hardest. Um, Boda says, "Eh, I can see the argument that the mythological creatures should look like the people that created them, like the Little Mermaid. She's white. Angraboda is white. Hemdal is white." I agree. no, they should, they should. But to see that the thing is, is that there's a difference between um, an archetype that you're trying to like, um, that you're trying to present, but based on an archetype, like a re like a, a a fantasy. But there's a there is a logic, there is a structure and a reality to the fantasy, and then people who just want representation. I think that when it's like what they're doing is they think, well, if this person was played by an actor. What would that person look like? Because, you know, actors are human beings and human beings are of different races and ethnicities. So they see, they think like an elf, a, the, the elves, the dwarves, the half ogres or the half orcs rather, um, the, the half elves, the, uh, the, the whatever race it is. They, they basically like the tieflings, they, they look, but they, they don't look like just the races. They look like a race of that type if it was being cosplayed by someone of a of a certain and whatever their ethnic background might be so it it it's they're just disenchanting everything they like you you're they force you to look at things in a way that no one wants to they just want to play their game you know anyway let me pick um make a mod that makes any npc stating their pronouns instantly provoke and attract all the enemy monsters <laughs> yeah Great Endora says, Brian, have you ever watched Tom Woods' presentation about Hitler's economic policies? It's so obvious he was a socialist, he even praised the Soviets' planned economy. I mean, I, I watched this guy named Tick History, who's done many videos on this, and he has angered the commies big time. But that only proves that he's right. I mean, I got banned from Twitter for that. So yeah, I saw, I saw, I haven't seen that video, but I will watch it, Great Endora, I will. Um, anyway. So this attack will only strengthen their resolve. Okay, I have no quarrel with druids. Why are they forcing you out? Those goblins, have there been many attacks like that? I won't be staying long. I just need to find a healer. Um, I will say I have no quarrel with druids. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. Actually, literally, like, tieflings, again, they, they made tieflings into a race because they want to make them into a sympathetic group. And tieflings are like drow. You know, I just want to say something about Dark Elves for a second. Because I blame Dark Elves becoming a playable character for, for this bullshit that's going on. So, I always like Dark Elves as an aesthetic thing. I think they're really cool. I think they make great villains when you're running a D&D game. Because they're like the opposite. They're like the evil elves. The idea of it's cool, right? Then, like, R.A. Salvatore wrote the Icewind Dale trilogy and introduced everybody to Dritzt, Dritzt Duerden. And I've been reading The Crystal Shard. I'm almost at the end. Uh, the Crystal Shard is the first book, I believe, in that trilogy. It's like, I can't remember the rest, but I know one of them is called The Halfling's Gem, but it doesn't matter. So, um, in, in the story, I can see why there was a massive, like, fanboying, fangirling thing over Drizzt because he was such a, a, you know, he was such an impactful character. It was basically like, it was like when you watch any anime, right? And you have like the best friend of the main character and the best friend of the main character is always even more interesting or cool than the main character is like oh you know people who love vegeta people who love um Kakyoin, people who love ray from from the fist of north star that's what dritz was he was like the really cool secondary character but he wasn't the main character like i mean i'm almost at the end and people have said that dritz the main character but if you read the story, the the original Crystal Shard. So I don't know. Like later, they probably made him into a main character because he was so popular. It was actually Wolfgar who's the main character because he's the character that goes through the most 
development. He's like a barbarian and he starts off really young and then like he's raised by the dwarf and he grows up. So if you follow the hero's journey, you know that Wolfgar is the main character and Drizzt is more like a, he's part of an ensemble for sure, but he's also like more like a mentor. And Drizzt was, was supposed to be odd man out. This is what, when, you, when you're building a story and you have an outsider or someone who's a little bit different, but they're but they're not the main character. They're usually an odd man out because he was the only drow, at least at that point, the only dark elf that wasn't evil. But once that that book came out, everyone everybody wanted to be Dritz. He was like the guy, right? And so everyone was trying to make their version of oh I'm I'm like the, you know like they think oh I was a I was a misfit in school and I want to be the misfit in this game and it doesn't work. Like the whole party can't be a bunch of original unique snowflake misfit characters but that's what people do that's what they did in this game like all of the npcs are basically another interpretation of the dritz character and the tieflings were just another way of doing that they're like oh they're like they're like part demon and they have a dark side and they're so edgy and it's like but they're rare like they're supposed to be very rare you know when it comes to tabletop games there's one game that i think does this very well warhammer fantasy so I have like a box set to try out Warhammer Fantasy. And what I saw in Warhammer Fantasy was pretty interesting. Like if you wanted to play as an elf or a dwarf or some other race that wasn't human, you had to roll to see if there was a chance that you could be one because they were so unusual that you you normally wouldn't be able to do it, right? Like most characters were gonna be humans because it was the most common race. And they were actually like including that concept of population size in the game like what you know if you if you think that drow are are a minority or tieflings are a minority then the whole party can't be tieflings or drow or warforged or smith nerflin or whatever deep gnomes whatever whatever it is right everyone wants to be that though and they can't they can't just like it's a it's a narcissism thing is what i'm saying it's just narcissism it's people that really want to be special and it's the most annoying thing about about tabletop gamers, especially modern ones, because they're worse about that than anybody. But anyway, um, Pyrotest from Record of Lotus War is smoking hot dark elf. Oh, I love Pyrotest. I, I, I love Lotus War. I think it's it's fantastic. Again, she basically stayed a villain for like the whole story, though, for the most part. There was no like, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. It, it's weird. Um, Nova fan says we need to move off of Nexus for mods. But so many weaklings are too attached to be independent to leave for better mods. Yeah, I agree. Um, Crystal Shard, I think I got that earlier this week. It was an agonizing blast. Oh, God. Crystal Shard with a D. It's a good story, though, Crystal Shard. It's it's a very it's very much a D&D thing. All right, but anyway. Is there no way to convince the druids to stop it? I need a healer. What brought you here? I guess we'll, I guess we'll get involved with this. Colga. Their new first druid won't even see me. You, though? I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Uh, let me see. I can try to persuade her. I have my own temporal concerns. I need a healer. I'll ask about that. You're wounded. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he went with those adventurers. It seems they left him behind. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. I'll find her and I'll speak we to Kaga while I'm there. Dead. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. One of the things that uh, these modern games do too is they like make the obscure into the common. So like, oh, what what's this? Wait a minute. This. Open crate. Clothes. Scruffy vagabond clothes, rags. I mean, I could sell them. Mm -hmm. Some veggies, some some garlic. All right.
hollow load up. Oh no, it's saving. Good. But was it F5? Is it F5 to save? Let me just do that really quick just to make sure I get into the habit of it. Okay, yeah, it worked. Thanks, Boda. Aaron. Uh, we'll talk to him. It's a fellow gnome. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly. Why are they? He looks. Why? Why do they look like that? And thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? Act fast if you do. The ritual will be complete before too long. Wait, that's not a gnome. Is that a dwarf? That's not a dwarf if it doesn't have a beard. You see what I mean? Like what? What? He? That is that a dwarf or a halfling? Maybe it's a halfling. Uh, what are you selling? Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. I should look at his feet. Uh, he's wearing boots, so I can't tell. Oh yeah, Lightfoot Halfling. Okay, all right, it's a Halfling. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, so we're gonna barter with this guy. So what does he got? I probably can't afford anything. 174 gold. Uh, I can sell some stuff though. So, Arrow of Ice, Scroll of Revivify. I will sell this. I don't need any of these swords, so I'm gonna sell them. And these crossbows. Maybe I'll keep one and give it to um, Hannah or something. What the hell is this music? Bronze ring, it doesn't do anything, so I'll sell him that. Silver locket. Um, do you wanna buy this brain? <laughs> I think the skulls can be maybe used as a component. Um, there's some rags, I guess. Casual sandals. Yeah, sure. Take the clothes. And these gems. I think that'll work. 127 gold. And what do I want? So, gloves of missile snaring. You can... 400? Nah, that's okay. Like, this is dyes. Nah, that's okay. Chain shirt plus one. I can't buy that. I might be able to buy that, but I don't know who can wear that. Maybe, maybe Karen? Ringmail armor plus one. Make a species called bigots and make them sympathetic as well. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, you know you could make a sympathetic demon work if it was a unique character with an elaborate background story, but it's a complete separate race. No, I'm saying, yeah, there, there's, it, the thing is, is that I'm fine, pizza? But why though? Like, <laughs> pizza doesn't exist in D&D. What is this? Oh my God, this is like absolutely immersion shattering. Pizza, are there Italians in Faerun? Are there Italians? Is this deep dish, thin crust? Is this a, 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 you know, stone, what do you call it? Like the brick oven pizza? Is that brick oven pizza? So annoying, man. All right. Um, padded armor. I could get that. Rain dancer. What is that? Uh, what is this? A staff imbued with a droplet shape. Can I change character? Let me see what, uh, what Hannah. Or with reset your offer. No, no, no. I don't. I don't. I will, can I just sell it to him and then, like, buy something after? Here, take this mug. And I think I'm going to keep the rest of this stuff. I haven't figured out what I want to buy. I might just get, like, a something simple. Oh, he has scrolls. Featherfall. Uh, Bone Chill, that's for Hannah. Burning Hands. I don't know if Warlocks can learn new spells, so this might be a waste. Color Spray, Ray of Enfeeblement, Thunder Wave, Fire Arrows, Acid Arrows, a Shovel. I think I have a Shovel. Potion of Healing, Pitcher of Beer, Ith Bank, Gold. Why? <laughs> oh, maybe I can just do this and then um, barter. Your offer has been refused. Oh, I asked for too much. I asked for too much. I see. Maybe, um... Shit. Can I... Oh, oh, I should said these tools. That's a good idea. 
What's this? Yeah, trap toolkits. Yes. Okay. Wow, 500 gold? Holy shit. Can I split this? I don't want to buy that much. Here we go. Maybe I'll just buy, like, two? And, uh, one of these? 378? My goodness, that is expensive, dude! What are you doing to me? Alright, let's remove this. I don't want this anymore. Um... That's insane. Supply pack has a hundred. Okay, we'll do that, and then maybe I'll, uh, 114. 96. Uh, we'll give him the remaining four gold in cash. There we go, and there it is. Barter. Boom. All right, let me go to Mike. No, uh, Hannah. And, um, she's got 170 gold. Uh, I can... What's a ritual staff? Oh, I can use that. It's a weapon. 1d8. But, I don't know if Hannah can use that. What, can... Do you guys know if warlocks can use staffs? I'm not sure. Like, she... They seem a little haphazard. Do they have taco pizza? How about sushi? Yeah, I know. You used to joke about how, like... Fighting, like, not fighting games, uh, beat em up games like Final Fight were immersion breaking because you could, like, break a barrel and it'll be like a roast, you know, a giant, like, hot ham hock <laughs> on a plate, you know, <laughs> but, uh, or like a chicken, you know, like a whole roasted chicken and you would eat, you could pick it up for, for health, but, like, at least those games weren't pretending to be special. Raw steak, is that a T bone? I prefer the ribeye. Or a porterhouse. Maybe that's a porterhouse. Honey and ham. That's the ham. That's what's inside the barrels when you break them. Um, okay. So, what can I buy from this guy? I kind of want that staff. This right... No, where is it? Oh, is it down here? No, where is it? I thought there was a staff. Oh, here it is. Rain Dancer, 250... Oh, it creates water. It's not really that great. I mean, it probably has its place, but... I'm not gonna sweat that. Let me switch to Karen. Maybe, um... Maybe Karen's got something she can buy from this guy. He doesn't really have weapons. He's wearing hide armor. A barbarian clothes. Armor class 10. Maybe I can get her... Damn, that's so expensive, though. Uh, I'll sell these things. Goblin the Scimitar. Morning Star. Four to eleven. How much does her axe do? One to twelve? Is th four to oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. Four to fifteen. One D eight. Does less damage, but it's one handed. Nah, that's okay. Get rid of it. Spike shield. Although, what does the shield do? Plus two? What's Karen's armor class right now? 13? Maybe, uh, maybe I will equip her with these. Maybe I'll make her a sword and board for a while. I uh, will sell this bow, though, and have that. I don't know how much it's worth. One gold? Hey, I'll take it. Um. Okay. What's it, the gloves of power? Sell for 36? Nah. So, that's 56 gold. Can I just sell that? You don't receive any gold from this tra- No, I don't. What are you talking about? I'm not donating. Are you kidding me? I'm just gonna sell it for 56. They make this, like, needlessly hard. I don't know why. Okay, so now Karen's got 91. So, what what can I do with Mike? Let me, um, sell these bows. Um, got a good food. Is 
it's made with tomatoes or eggplant. <laughs> pineapple? Does it have pineapple on it? Uh, sell these. This. So you have to do, like, a bunch of unnecessary math now when you're buying and selling shit. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Simple robe. Number class 10. And have that bone. Uh, okay. So, 226 plus 43. So let me, uh, sell the gold. So, I, I guess it's so that we know, like, um... 226, 43, so let me just do 43, and then barter that, and now he has 67, I don't think I can afford anything that's like decent, I can buy some, wow, 315, are you kidding me, that's insane, alright, I think that's it, I think we're gonna leave it at that, but I'll, I'll remember he's here, what's this? Berry tart, steak, even this stuff costs a lot of money. Basalm, like so from basalm, like for vinegar, potion of greater healing. Hmm. All right. Sylvanus, guide your path. Trader attitude. Be careful near a trader's watchful eyes. Their attitude towards you affects the price of their stock. Okay. Just leave the kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blazing spells if we don't bloody use them? We should. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine too. Okay, with a stick. Uh. You should all stay. A single blade can make a difference. I choose the wilderness over the dangers of a city any day. I'll say you should all stay. I'll try to persuade. Ooh, I don't get a bonus from Mike. That might not work out. Charisma? Come on. Failed. Oops. No. This place is a death trap. Let us leave immediately. Or would you deny your brother here his chance at fortune in Baldur's Gate? Uh... But it is nevertheless true. That's we a low blow. Everything to get this far. We can't afford to throw it all away. Uh, fine. Let's sneak away like God's damned cowards. But if something happens to these people, it's on us. I hope you know that. I've got a long road ahead. What's going on over here? Feats of strength? Next time the goblins come, I'll be ready. Okay. Go on. Can't keep the goblins I should speak up. Go on. Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. This is another NPC, I bet, that joins your party. I don't think I've run into it. I've never had this encounter, so. I but I can tell because he's so special. Not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. <laughs> this whelp is hopeless. Half work. Enough sniveling child. Your enemies will not be swayed by tears. Yes, I'm going with that. Let's read the other options. Hey there, can I have a word? This whelp is hopeless. You're wasting your time. It's good advice, child. You'll do well to listen. And half-orc answer, enough sniveling, child. Your enemies will not be swayed by tears. Hey, that's that character from Legend. Yeah. Yes! Okay, I'm going with that. Ignore her, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... Sh the man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. 
You are the blade of frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. Another escapee. Thank the gods. I need all the friends I can get. Yes, and we both carry parasites. Who was that woman? The one in your thoughts. Peer further into his mind. Well, I don't think that uh, Karan can like do the peering into the mind thing. That's probably going to be a failed role. But I will say uh, he's blade figures. Um, who was that woman in your thoughts? You saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. I'm uh, more a concern about the parasite. I suggest we search for a healer together. Let's join forces. I'll help you cast this devil back into the hells. You have a mind flayer tadpole in your head. Doesn't that worry you? I will go with you have a mind flayer tadpole in your head. Doesn't that worry you? I'd be a fool if it didn't. I know the stories. Doomed to shed my skin. Become a lithid. And there's no coming back. But I haven't sprouted any tentacles. Least not yet, thank Baldurin. Could just be good luck. But sooner or later, it's bound to run out. Join me, then we'll search for a cure. I can help you hunt the I'll do, I'll do the cure thing. An excellent suggestion. But your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. Go to my camp and wait for me. A splendid plan. We'll talk I'm not gonna be use these NPCs. I don't really care about that. So Asherak, what's up? I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. A story? Oh well, I mean, soak the bell. Okay, here here are the options. <laughs> okay, with a stick. Number one, they're just children. Why are you teaching them to fight? Number two, soak the battlefield with blood. Do not resist death, but embrace it. Number three, be strong and watch over your kin. Entrust there is victory. Or number four, bad news, children. You're all going to die. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is a good sword. <laughs> what do you guys suggest? Um... I'll wait for y'all. What are your thoughts? Come on, guys. Give me some feedback. I'll pick something. Soak the battlefield or bad news. I will go with... Uh, I have a soft spot for three. In trust, there is victory. Which one do you think is the most... Karen thing to say. Maybe if 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 you're uh, if you're just undecided. Children question what's better best in life. <laughs> Destroy your enemies, watch them be driven before you, and hear the lamentation of the women. Uh you want me to go bad news children, you're going to die? I'm gonna go with, um, shit. I'll go with three, I guess. Thanks. I prefer when they smile. I prefer when they smile. Let's see. Don't waste a step. Weak. Step, parry, strike, damn it. It's just not, nah. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> Uh, I've never, just never seen your, your faces. Well, I, sh I should get back to it. <laughs> look who's talking. You know you want this. You know you want this woman. Look at, look at that. You know you want a piece of this shit. Half-orc, you yelp like a frightened dog because of my face. 
Interesting technique. Having some trouble? You'd better surrender. That target's a far better fighter. Which one do you want me to say? What do you say, guys? What do you say, chat? What do you say, chat? Half orcs are fun to play, I have to say. Three, you yelp like a frightened dog. Two, you better surrender the target's a better fighter. I will take Boda's suggestion. Um, here we go. No, no offense, men. I was just surprised. Concentrating on this blasted target. We need to be ready for a fight. But I'm useless with a sword. Oh, okay. So... So, <laughs> I'm about to flex on this guy. Uh, number one, try hitting the target. Number two, athletics. So that involves an athletics check. Which I'm pretty sure uh, Karan is good at. Demonstrate a swing. Show him the fluidity of movement he lacks. Number three, half orc and performance. Show him how to coil his shoulder muscles into a more intimidating stance before striking. Number four, barbarian. Don't waste good anger on your thoughts. Use it on that target. Or number five, leave. What do you guys think? I'm kind of leaning towards three, two, athletics, demonstrate a swing, show them the futility, three, okay, four, oh my god, really? I need a tiebreaker, I need a tiebreaker. I need a tiebreaker. So I got one for two, one for three, and one for four, for four. Is there someone else that has an opinion? Is there somebody else that can break the tie? Channel the rage. <laughs> Channel the rage, exactly. Come on, guys, give me a give me a tiebreaker. One more person. Uh Nova fan says sec. Boda says three or four, you decide. Or three or two, I'm sorry. Three or two. Nova fan says three. That's the breaker. We'll do it. Show him how to coil his shoulder muscles into a more intimidating stance before striking. Oh, no, wait. That two. He said, yeah, he said three. Here we go. All right. Let's do it. Oh, and it was kind of pointless. Charisma check. It was charisma? Oops. I failed. Well, that was a waste of time. Right, so like this. Step, step, swivel. Oh! I think you made it worse. Keep the advice to yourself next time. Son of a bitch. I should have just I should have just done what I was good at. That was my fault. Uh that's a book. Uh, a is for Azuth, Amantor, Sun's Bright Light, Shines the Truth in a Man's Law, Speak His Name to Stop a Fight, Then Invoke a Legal Cause. Beware dread Asmodeus, both his word and promise sweet, more able to betray us than the devils at his feet. Ariel is merciless and cold, the winter's icy breath, spare her a little food and gold so you won't freeze to death. Okay. Yeah, performance is charisma. I should have like thought, I mean, I knew that. Another book. I already saw that. Um, who's this? I should probably not. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. I'm gonna switch to these things have stayed interesting. To the uh, to Allison again. Wait, the rat. Oh shit! Can I talk to it? Oh, animal handling, hell yeah, let's try it. I uh, did it, 10. Just what I needed. The rat's eyes soften as he emits a pained squeak. You realize the source of his discomfort. One of his front teeth is chipped. 
Mm. That's what Gluttony will get you. Nod, he'll be fine. Bear your own teeth at him. Do I have Allison bear her teeth at him? Her gnome teeth? We'll probably follow half her advice. So long for your flex, yeah. That's so Allison. All right. The rat bristles with an offended hiss. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's over here? Let me look at the map. So this, who's that? Memnos, Zoru, Aramas, Rat. I guess we'll go in here. Let's see. What's going on in here, guys? Makeshift prison. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Is that a, is that a female Does goblin? God. Why does she have the danger hair? Get out of the way. She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. They're goblins. Goblins are evil. <laughs> shoot before you lose your nerve, Tiflin. If you ever had it to begin with. I, you know, I'm not gonna no. I'm this, got look. Goblins are evil. Okay, like there's no like. Oh, if you. Oh my God, this is so cringe, guys. Oh, Chosen by the absolute, I am. I'm blessed. She's got boobs oh, and tats. Right. Here it comes, you little beast. <sighs> well. Goblins are evil, so who cares? Let me, let me uh, let's see what's over here. I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm not, I'm not playing this like you know. The goblins are evil, like they're, it's like in their blood, like that's what they are. Like there's no, oh, this one, you know, you can't judge. Bullshit, man. Can I go down here? I can't go. I jump there. I hate this moral relativism bullshit that they're always doing. Goblins are monsters. That's the point. Sorry, but that really annoys me. Oh no, you why are you mean to the goblins? They're just people. No, they're not. They're literally monsters. Evidence chest? Okay. Is there a mod that gets rid of this much wokeness? Yeah, right. Ah, oh, man. It's so cringe, man. Alright, let me look at the map. We're gonna go make... I'm gonna go make some trouble, I think. You know? So, what's that? Arlac, okay. Emerald Grove. I think I'm gonna go here. So, how do I add a marker? Create a custom marker. Just call it custom marker. Okay. So, we're gonna go back the way we came. Oh, cows! And there's a tiefling guy there shoveling shit, I think. This place is a bloody death trap, not a sanctuary. You should clear off while you can. Bello. If I, you know, I could cast Speak with Animals. Should I speak with animals on this cow or these oxes? Bored ox, strange ox, strange ox. What makes it strange? Try to discern why. It's actually not a, uh, it's probably not actually an ox. It's probably like a shapeshifted druid or something. Let's see. Yeah, I know, I gotta go soon. Failed. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm gonna cast Speak with Animals and talk to it. Ah, you're addressing me? A humble ox. How quaint. Could I do it this time? Yes. Off. This creature 
future isn't what it appears to be. There's more to you than meets the eye. Care to explain? No. You are incapable. Okay. Uh, persuasion, that's charisma. Intimidation, that's... I think that's also charisma. Deception, they're all charisma. Come on, old chap, I'm a devil for gossip. Out with it, cow, or you're going to regret it. Fine, I heard the tieflings are going to butcher one of you for food, so your secret will die with you. Which one should I pick? I want this cow's secrets! I could just try to persuade it. Third one? Alright, we'll do it. Let's see if it works. Three. Okay, everybody's everybody's in favor of that. And I succeeded. <laughs> I'd so love to see them try. I'll tell you this much. I'm going to Baldur's Gate, with or without the rest of these poor sods. Now, that's all I have to say besides, and I really mean this, move. <laughs> Nothing here for Funny. you. Nothing here for you. Fine! Can I talk to this ox then? Another one. What are you under there then? Ant. Aurochs. What are you talking about? Aurochs described me well, yes. Ant, are you calling me small? Maybe I'm an ox too. Hi, Matt Watton. I got like maybe six or seven minutes left before I have to go. So, what do you guys think? Sorry I didn't get into another fight, but this is kind of early in the game. So, poke the moo with a stick. What should I say, guys? What are you talking about? Aurochs describes me well. I don't know what Aurochs is. And what are you calling me small? Maybe I'm an ox too. They're all bad. Yeah. Um. I will go with maybe I'm an ox too. You have the smell, but I do not think so. You are not like the keepers here. They become birds to hunt on the wing, bears to tear flesh with teeth. But for me, only oxen, only same old hay, and I cannot even eat it, because the horned ones hide their shiny bits inside. Shiny bits? Tieflings put something in your hay? Cheer up, you do a noble thing, carrying burdens for those who can't. You complain a lot. I'm gonna go with the first one. Hiding things. Thinking they're clever. Not clever. Sometimes I eat the shiny bits, and they have to go looking for them on the other end. What about this ox? Now I wanna to talk to all of them, all the animals. Be gone. I am hungry. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Doni, Can, Umi. Um, I'm about to quit, but I'm gonna go outside first to the uh, to the marker, and then I'll stop there. So. Let me look at the map here. That's the marker. Emerald Grove. Maybe I'll go here. Cross this, maybe? Can I cross that? Yes. Oh, that's not what I thought it was. Never mind. We're not going here. Let's go back. Ooh, a squirrel. Wait a minute. 
to it. Talk to it. Shit. Once familiar ally, now apparently not all there. Okay. Perhaps a little time away is all she needs. She'll be at your camp should you wish to call her again. Okay. Come on, end it. Oh, no, no, no. Let me talk to the squirrel. Squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. What? You're trespassing. This is my territory. All right, you win. I'm leaving. Intimidation back off, squirrel, or I'll make you. Persuasion, there's plenty of room for both of us. Angry squirrel is angry. But I will try to intimidate it, I think. I don't know if this is going to work. Rabies. <laughs> 16? Yeah! I'm small, but I'm bigger than you! Okay, okay, calm down. We can make a deal. How about this? You can stay if you keep those ugly feet on the ground. I'll even sweeten the pot. Found some weird smelling stuff on the ground. You can keep it, but... These trees are mine. Follow the rules and I won't have to intervene. Got it? Uh, we conceived timber to let us walk on our on her territory. She left us a small trinket to keep us away from the trees. You receive what is this? Hyena ear. Oh. Okay. Well, thank you, Mrs. Squirrel. I mean, kind of interesting. I am going to. What's this? Ricka, I'll talk to you. I'm I'm gonna go somewhere and then I'm gonna Glad stop. You're but here for those goblins. picked one off yesterday myself. Shot her through the throat. Well, that should have killed her, but she kept gasping, clawing at the arrow. Oh my God! I had to kill a goblin. It was traumatizing. Fighting is so hard. How about we all just have sex? That's literally what this game is now. We all want, everybody wants to fuck, but no one wants to, like, adventure. Your first kill, don't worry, it gets easier. Wish I'd seen that, it's boring when they just drop dead. Taking life, <laughs> number two. <laughs> Wish I'd seen that, it's boring when they just drop dead. Number three, taking life always has a cost, you have to feel it, otherwise you lose who you are. Ugh, gross. What is this feminine shit? Okay, which one do you guys want me to do? I like the first two. <laughs> I like the first two. Yeah, let me F5. Thank you uh, for the suggestion. Um, I'll go at number two. Why? It was terrible. I should have just looked away. <laughs> Those fucking face tattoos. What's next? <sighs> this is so cringe. Can't go that way. What's over here? No. Uh, uh let's go back. All right, I'm going to I'm going to quit. Um, so I didn't get back. I wanted to get to a certain place, but I didn't make it. But it's okay. I'm like I'm at the wall, right? This is like the wall, I think. So I'm gonna go right here by these boxes and this campsite here, and I'm gonna quit the game. So um, let me save and quit. Thanks guys for coming. It looks like it works. Pretty neat, huh? I got to, I, I managed to like make an entire custom party. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. Maybe the main, maybe some of the main stories or side quest stuff isn't gonna work, I don't know. But I don't wanna bring these goofy ass NPCs, you know what I'm saying? So. Uh, I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for hanging out. I might do more later in the week or something, maybe over the weekend. Um, and, uh, yeah, so, you know, please uh, hit like, share, subscribe, comment, hit the bell for notifications. And um, I will talk to you all um, later on, like an hour, I'll be on the other show. So, 
see you guys next time. Have a good one, everybody. Men's right activists are machines, dude, okay? They are literal machines. They are talking point machines. They are impossible to fucking deal with, especially if you have like, especially if you have like a, a couple dudes who have good memory on top of that too. Holy shit, you're fucked.